Hey guys, it's me Gnarly Simmer here bringing you a tutorial video on how to download or install custom content for your Sims 4 games. I got requested to do this so I'm going to try to show you the most easiest, simplest way to do this. I'm going to show you from all the way to what software to get to extract files all the way to the Sims 4 creative sim so you can see that it actually works. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first program you do need to get is WinRAR. WinRAR is a a extracting program to extract compressed files that are usually the files you get when you're trying to get custom content so you do need these this um, software so I put WinRAR in Google and it is the fourth one in my search so I just go to winrar.com or you can just search it up if this website doesn't work for you you can just go and search it up again and just try other websites so we can go to this website you are going to come and download WinRAR. I would show you how to download it, but I already have it on my computer. So you just click it and it's super fast, simple, and easy. So And it's also free, so don't stress about it. Don't put by WinRAR. It's a trial, so when this trial um, expires, just get a new one or just go download it from somewhere else. So um, I'm going to show you guys two or three different websites of where I get my custom content. So the first place that I like to go get my custom content is the Sims Resource. I like it because it has a lot of more variety and it's just simple. It's I think it's way easier to get stuff from here because it's already in a package file instead of it being in a compressed file with two different types of files in it which is usually a picture and a file. But with this one it is just the straight up custom content that you want. Ooh downloading some stuff so I'm gonna come over here and let's say I want to download some clothing so I'm going to download some some dresses I guess because it's the first thing that pops up so I'm gonna download this dress I like to open my um, downloads in a new tab because when it is in a new tab it's just easier let's say I'm in like page 5 and I open it or something and I try to download it I'll lose my place in page 5 so I just open it in a new tab so we are going to go to the second page and see what else I can download so I can give you guys the example um, let's see maybe I can find a shirt that I can download on page 8 I'm just I like to do this I just skip pages so it's not always the same old same so let's see any shirt I can get um they're just dress 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 let's go to page 13 hopefully I can find the shirt that I like any shirt random okay so like this shirt it's super random I'm just gonna open it in a new tab and I like the skirt so I'm just gonna open it in a new tab so another thing I can download is the hairs so for hair download I just go click Sims 4 downloads and I go to hair so when it's in the hairs I go and you can get eyebrows here and you can actually get normal hair so I'm just gonna get normal hair for right now so let's see this one I'm just gonna open it in a new tab and let me try to find another hair that's this hair we'll just get it and I guess we can try out the eyebrows so I'm just gonna open it in a new tab and another thing, let's see, that I can download really fast is, I guess, some um, shoes. Um, let's get some shoes. <laughs> that just reminded me of that song. That It was a long time ago, it was a video, and someone made a video called Let's Get Some Shoes, or Shoes, or something. That it's, it's a major throwback to like 2008 or something. So I'm just going to get these shoes over here and let's go to some skin tones to actually get different skin tones let's say you want to pair your your sim skin and sometimes the blush just doesn't work so for the skin tones I'm going to get something that you can actually notice so I saw this zombie up here and it actually caught my attention so I'm just gonna download it and for these downloads I will I think this is enough for showing you guys so I'm going to come down here and download and okay so the first item that I downloaded is done downloading it's going to pop up as a notepad for me because I 
accidentally mistake I did a um, error on my computer and now everything that is a file just opens up in the notepad or wordpad so ignore this step you don't really this isn't pop up in your computer you're fine don't look for it it's okay so I'm going to come over to my file explorer and I'm going to go to the downloads and when you download stuff, it usually will come up in these books, like looking like these books or some zip files. It's fine if if it looks some other way, it's okay. Just look for the name. That's all that matters. So I'm going to open my documents in a new window. And in your documents, you're going to have your electronic arts folder. So you're going to look for Sims 4 and you're going to go here to the mods folder. So, um... In my mods folder, I usually have this organized because just in case I want to delete something or I'm just tired of having the same custom content, I just go to my folders and I just delete them. So I have most of these things deleted because I wanted to get new stuff in, I just haven't had time. So we are going to come over here and look for the dress that I just got. Um, I don't really, I don't really remember what it was called. So if, let's say you guys don't remember what it's called, you just come over here to the customized control uh, Google Chrome thing up here and you will go to downloads or you can do um, control J and over here you will see the sim 2 fan BG designer dress I had done this before but I didn't like how it came out so we have here the SM2 FM whatever and so since you have that name you go into your download folder and you search um, Sims 2 fan no Sims 2 fan okay so since it came out you just need to do keywords it doesn't really matter since it came out you open up your mods folder in your documents um, electronic arts Sims 4 folder you go and I'm just gonna drag this into my dress folder since it is a dress so um, now that I got that done, you just double check that is it is in there, and you have to check that the uh, pack the type of the file is a package file because if it is in a package file, then you just got something else, and it's not the actual custom content file, and it won't show up in your game. There are two types of files when you have a zip folder. There is a PNG folder, and there is a PN a package file. So you just always focus on the package file just look for package file and if you have that just drag it into your mods folder and you're fine so I'm just gonna skip ahead and do the other ones and show you later okay guys now that I'm done downloading all those packages files I'm going to show you how to do a zip file just in case you get it in a zip file instead of just a regular package file that you can find in your download and just drag onto your sims 4 mods folder so I'm going to go to the second website that I go to, which is Tumblr. So I'm going to put um, Sims 4, okay, jeans custom content. I do look for jeans a lot, so I go over here to the Tumblr. And you don't have to have an account for Tumblr. I don't have a, an account personally, so I just go to the um, Sims 4 jeans Tumblr or little tag, and I just look for the jeans so I just look for ones that I like so let's see if I okay these these jeans I like so I'm gonna click on her page and in this page um, see you're gonna get a lot of um, little requests and stuff that she has organized like her makeup eyes it's tumblr is a really good place also for custom content that you like so I'm going to come over here and grab my, I'm just going to click on her picture and I'm going to look, she shows the, all the colors that are with these jeans and I'm going to download. It's quick, simple and easy, honestly it's the easiest thing. And for these places, it doesn't matter if you have ad block or not because it's not the Sims resource, so it just goes with any um, ad, um, any website. So this one is AdFly. So you just skip the ad, and then you go to the Sims file share, and you just download the file. And over here, it'll come up in a zip form. So when you're at a zip, you double click it down here, 
and it will open up in WinRAR. Um, yeah, it's it'll open up in WinRAR. So, like I told you earlier today, there are two types of files. There's the PNG file and there's the package file. If you're curious to see what the PNG file is, it is just the picture of what the pants are or like what you just downloaded. So this, you don't really need it. Um, if you want to keep it in your folder, you can. But for me, I don't really need it. So I'm just going to, whoops, I'm just going to drag my jeans over here and I'm going to put them in pants. And I'm just going to double check that they're in there. And yeah, they're in there. They're the New York girl um, since four, uh, 14 year ripped jeans. And they're there. So now I'm going to open up the Sims 4. Let me just close these files over here. It's such a mess. I'm going to click the Sims 4. And I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to show you that the custom content that I just downloaded does work. And if you guys have any more questions, just comment down below. And if you just are having some trouble, I will try my best to help you down below. Okay, so after your Sims 4 entrance is done, um, I mean, I guess running, you will um, come across this pop-up screen for your mods, and here's just the list of mods you have. So I'm going to just create a new character, so you can ch test out all these different custom contents that we just downloaded to Maybe. see if they work. So I'm just going to switch this over to a female. Okay, so I am going to go to the hairs because we downloaded two hairs and let me check where they are. We are going to see where these two hair. Okay, so we have this one hair and it comes in different colors. So if you want your little swatch color, it comes in different colors. I might actually use this hair to change up my my character in my Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. So I'm going to keep this hair. And then I have this other hair over here. And it looks a little bit more, it's shorter and it has a lot of colors. It has so much colors. Oh my god. So we are just going to put this one in white I guess or er, this one so we can see everything else that we got actually <laughs> no this is too big so we're just gonna have this one and I'm gonna have it in a oh and this one has ombre also so some of them have ombre some of them don't Ooh, I like the one I had before this so I'm just going to do this and we did download some eyebrows so we are going to check the eyebrows out and there are these over here. So these are these fixed eyebrows and I don't know, I'm not feeling them that much but yeah, that's you see that the eyebrows downloaded. We also got a skin tone. So the skin tone is under face pink. So you come over here and this is the skin tone. This is a zombie, so I think it also brings the eyes. Yeah, so you can see the skin tone that it actually worked. It just works for the face, I'm pretty sure. So if you want the whole body, I'm pretty sure you have to go look for the whole body and face. We also got a dress for her. So I'm going to come over here and go to the dress. And let's see, okay, the dress is right here. And this is how the dress looks like. It doesn't come in different colors. It's just this color, but it's really shimmery. And you guys can see which ones are the custom con content ones when they have these pictures. So it's easier for you to find. I like this dress. I might keep it. We also got tops. So let's look for those tops. And sometimes the custom content you get could be hidden. So there's these this one with the little balls and then there's this other one with these buttons and there's this other one with like butterflies or dragonflies and then there's the flower one so we're just gonna keep the golden one 
We also did get shoes, if you guys don't remember. So I'm just going to take off these accessories so you can see the shoes. And the shoes we got were, they're right here. They look nice, I like them, I like them a lot. And if you can't see, the nails are painted, so that's such a cute design. We also got a skirt, and I'm going to look for it now. Oh, these are the pants. I had downloaded other pants before, but I got these from the Sims resource, and they come in different colors. So you can just get them if you want. I'm, yeah. See, they're ripped, more ripped, no ripped on one leg, and this one is no rips at all. They're just skinny jeans and I might keep them. We are looking for that skirt that is this one over here. Ooh, what's happening here? So let's take off this top. Okay, it's the top that happened. So I guess for this skirt, you may want to use a different type of shirt. You may have to just um, change the colors on sometimes for these or it's just a skirt in general so I'm pretty sure I'm just not gonna keep this because you can't just be in a bra the whole time let me check if another clothing no it's just the skirt is having some problems um, this one works just the sleeves are black it's just I don't know it's mostly the skirt maybe if we change the color it'll get better no it just goes through so I guess if this shirt, this dress didn't, the skirt didn't come out good, but you could download it and it did download. So let's go check the other pants or bottoms that we got, which were another pair of jeans. I know that. And here are the My Girl Sim jeans that I got. And they do come in different colors. They come in this like greenish, bluish, black, blue. So yeah, this is all we got, so I just wanted to show you guys that they do work, that this is the most easiest, simplest way that I know how to get custom content. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to leave this video a big fat thumbs up, comment down below if you like this or if it was helpful for you, and also if you have any problem like downloading it, just let me know and I'll try my best to answer your comments down below and help you down below. And don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.